This is All Out Politics, news, debate and opinion from the heart of Westminster. Tens of thousands of children in Cameroon are being denied an education because of a battle for independence, which is fast spiralling into an all-out civil war. More than a million people now need some form of humanitarian aid after fleeing the fighting between separatists and the military. And you'll have seen Alex Crawford's exclusive reports on the matter this week. Well, joining me now is Dr Ayaba Cho Lucas, who is a Cameroonian human rights activist. And, and the reality is that people are suffering, children not getting education, people are getting killed because of a civil war. Uh, thanks a lot for having me. But I'm the president of the Ambazonian Government sure. Council and I'm not a Cameroonian sure. human rights activist. Yes, I agree with you that uh, the humanitarian situation is spiraling out of control. Cameroon has the primary responsibility as an occupying power. Well, hang on. I mean, you know, it's a choice to wage war for separat separatism in Cameroon, isn't it? I mean, why is that so important to break away? It's not a choice. War was declared on us by Cameroon. Cameroon occupied Ambazonia in 1961 and has since... Well, it's been one country since It has then. never been one country. There have been uh, two countries. That's a misconception that needs to be corrected. There has never been any Cameroon that uh, is between Cameroon and Ambazonia. Cameroon gained independence on the 1st of January 1960, while Ambazonia was still under British administrative rule under the UN trusteeship system. And so it has its international border, demarcated 1916, and a form in 1932. So these are two countries, and one has extended its own well, they've border. They've been recognized into internationally as one country for, no. for decades. Cameroon again admission into the United Nations on the 20th of September 1960 and recognized as an independent country with its demarcated international border, excluding Ambazonia. So uh, you think it's worth fighting this war against occupation, even although uh, it subjects your population to uh, uh, what's happened? Even before the war, our population has been subjected to a level of impunity that is highly documented. And I think uh, late, uh, Sir Nigel Rodney was there in 1999 and declared very well that there is systematic torture. Our people have been subjected to a level of banality that yeah. we are extremely very, very shocked that you know the world has not said anything or held Cameroon accountable for crimes against humanity. And, uh, I mean, it, it takes two, doesn't it, sometimes? I mean, are, are not your forces also responsible for some crimes against humanity? No. Our forces are not responsible for crimes against humanity. We have a disciplined force that respects its code of conduct that is drafted to reflect the spirit of the 1949 and 19, uh, Geneva Convention. There have been acts that have been committed by organized groups within Ambazonia, some sponsored by Yaoundé, to create a sense of chaos within our war of independence. And there must be clarity, uh, distinction made between the defense forces. So now we have got civil war going on. What does the international community need to do about it? Cameroon has lost legitimacy. It has been defeated. We controlled in a dynamic form over 80% of our territory. It is time for the international community to recognize the new owner of that country and help us set together, set up a transitional authority that would arrest the growing humanitarian situation. I, su I suspect that the international community, if it tries to get involved, will want to mediate. What, what is the level of mediation at the moment? There, there has been talks about uh, mediation. Uh, the European uh, Institute for Peace has been working with our teams. You know, uh, we also know the humanitarian dialogue of Switzerland uh, has been making some positive signs. The Swiss government has declared its willingness. We still need clarity whether it wants to facilitate or it wants to mediate. There is a lot that needs to be done for, for proper mediation to take place. Cameroon has to show its willingness to sit on the table and end the occupation within Ambazonia. The international community that failed us in 1961 by abdicating its role, especially the United Kingdom, must be ready that once there is a settlement, they will be ready to implement the outcome of such a negotiated settlement.
Okay, Dr. Cherry Lucas, uh, who is, uh, just to clarify that, uh, the uh, leader of the Amazonian Governing Council. Thank you very much indeed for your Thanks time. Thanks a lot, sir, for having me.